Hello and welcome back to another Shogun 2 campaign. I am Der Rote, and today we're gonna start a Rise of the Samurai campaign with the Kamakura Minamoto. And oh boy, I was looking forward to this. Because, in my opinion, this campaign is highly underrated. It's much better than people are saying. We're gonna play a long campaign on very hard. And as you can see, the Kamakura Minamoto are geared towards using a lot of samurai, especially like um, with a higher reload rate, stuff like that. So just use a lot of bows, a lot of samurai, but we'll get to that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. All right, the Minamoto. They say they're not a very diplomatic clan, but they make up for that with their fighting spirit. But anyway, we just gotta establish some trade first. With the Edo, who don't seem to be too friendly towards me, but 100, gonna take it. Doesn't matter if you like me or not. I just want to have your money. Speak of your times, and I will answer presently. Right, right. All them monies. Come, let us take. That's kind of how much they give to you, so. Tis all okay. In this campaign, these guys, the Junsa Tsushi, they are so important, highly important. They are kind of like the Metsuke in the original game, and more. So you can put them into your town and they will increase tax rate. But you can also use them to convert provinces to your allegiance. Like this province right now, it's got 60% Taira, Taira and 20% uh, Fujiwara and Minamoto. And of course, we want everything to be Minamoto. And the first province to convert is Kai, where the Takeda are. Hm, it's kind of interesting. The Takeda are probably the only clan in this game that you will see in the vanilla shogun 2 that is still the same province yeah kind of kind of interesting so what to do now let's attack him because like i said before we are the warrior clan and of course we're going to continue the siege i could just attack them in here because the town in here in this campaign it's not like a fortress in the original game. It doesn't have any walls or something, so... But I want them to attack me. So we're gonna wait for that. And they will definitely do that in the next turn. So, where to go for the odds? We could go for some money and diplomatic relations. Or we could go for Way of the Bow. Which is kind of what I want to do. Because we've got the, the better archers and having more ammunition and fire arrows yeah that's kind of what i want to have another thing in this campaign you can get a crazy amount of food and therefore town growth because the barter exchange which is kind of the commerce building in this game can be upgraded to a, into a food storage and even more of that so it gives you food 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 not just with farms so of course let's do that Especially because Izu is going to be one of the richest provinces in the game. Because it's got gold. Gold, I say. So is there anything else to do? Uh, yeah, we can recruit some Naginata Levy. Because we don't have that many. And they are very useful at taking out generals. No, nope. I mean, if they're stupid enough to get caught. But the AI is very often. So let's continue. Now, come on. I know you want to sally out. There we go. So, they've just got levy. We have at least one bow attendance unit. And, yeah, they're just better bow levy. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, we've also got two generals. And in this campaign, generals are much more useful. It's, I mean, in their talents, in their talent tree. And also in their fighting capabilities. It's just... That's one, that's one thing I like in this campaign. You gotta use your generals way more offensively. Not just putting them behind your lines and... Inspire your units. No. They gotta fight. Because they're archers in this campaign. So I kinda wanna put all my units into this forest. Because my reinforcement's coming from here. Hmm... 
could also put them into this forest. Mm, nah, I guess this one's better. Okay, now come to me, all my reinforcement. Nah, get out of there. There we go. I don't want to run my guys, just come and walk over here. Mm -hmm. And my archers. All over here. I mean, one of the biggest differences is that every unit is in loose formation. There's no tight formation in this game. Kind of makes sense, because, uh, yeah, this time... Japanese uh, Japanese armies weren't fighting in like close formations. They had a very weird battle style, where like sometimes they or pretty often warriors would like choose their uh, the opponent they deemed the most worthy, and they would be like, "I am blah 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 of blah 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 blah, and uh, you will be blah blah blah, and it's my honor blah blah blah, and you should never forget this name even if you die blah 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 blah." And then they start fighting. <laughs> yeah, that's weird times. But on the other hand, it also had like thousands of troops. It's like that's not the only thing that that was happening in those battles. Of course not. <laughs> Because then there would just be a lot of guys with... I mean, then there would be armies with a lot of archers and just shooting down that guy, so... Hmm. But it definitely happened. But anyway... Let's speed this up a little. No oh, archers come over here. Oh uh, no, another thing. I think I can put my, my general over here. And you can come to this flank. Because, like I said before, in this campaign, you should use your generals. They're more than just... Uh, than just an inspiration. Uh, you better run. Okay. Can you imagine these guys are gonna fire at my general? Yeah, they do. So you can retreat. Bow attendants. Yeah, exactly. Do that. Now the general can fire them as well. And you... Uh, yeah, just fire their Naginata. And of course, cavalry archers, they can... They can kite them. Ah, that's not good. Don't want that to happen. I mean, we'll win this skirmish. So then fire their general, you too. You still aim at their Naginatas. Now they're, they stop firing at my general, so you can retaliate. And here, this one, we can just kite them. Just run away if they get closer. And then we can start firing again. Okay, no, they're not aiming at my general, that's good. Okay, I think I can surprise them. This might even run- oh no, no, actually not. That's not a good idea. Let's keep kiting them. Because they will rout pretty soon. I mean, we're certainly winning this, uh, this first skirmish. And their general is taking a lot of damage. Oh, and it seems like they're charging. Move back. Okay, they already lost their, one of their archers. Uh, better fire them. The most important thing is he just should never get caught. Okay. Their general is almost dead. Keep firing. Alright, what's going on here? Okay, katana troops. Or, I mean, I think they're using Tachi. Ah, whatever. Are you done yet? No, you're not. No, my attendants are taking a lot of damage. You better retreat. And Naginata Levy. Come on, you can charge in here as well. How's my general doing? 
Not too bad. Let's move him over. Let's move him over here. Nah, what am I doing? You just charge in there. That that's gonna route him. You get around. Maybe just charge into their bow levy. Yeah, that's gonna break him as well. You get into close combat. Yeah, break in, break in, shatter in. My lord, a glorious victory will soon Archers, be stop firing. These guys took a bunch of damage. Hmm. But I mean, it was in the initial skirmish and they killed a lot of their generals, bodyguards, so... I hope we didn't kill everything because I want to fight a second battle. That's gonna give me a level up for my general. Nah, what a shame. Zero remaining. I mean, the positive thing about that is that I can capture their city without destroying anything, but nah. I want to have a level for my general. So now... How's happiness gonna be here? Not that great. So we need another unit. Okay, now it's gonna be fine. So either... Mm, butter exchange or better farms. Uh, uh, yep, but, but, uh, I don't know. Let's get the butter exchange first. And over here. That's another great thing the Jin Satsushi can do. Request allegiance. And that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's hope the 72% chance is enough because these fools decided to get out of their city. For some reason. Yes! Haha! <laughs> and now all their army is gone. And I've got the province. Although it's gonna be pretty unhappy soon. Nah. Tis gonna be fine. I think the minus one from uh, non-clan allegiance that's just gonna be minus one, not minus two. Okay. Now what I'm planning to do is... Um, making fortresses over here in Musashi and Kai. And maybe try to expand over here to the west. I don't want to expand to the east, although I'm... I think I'm bordering a pretty unfriendly clan now. Yeah, the Yuki. Hmm... Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, finally, my my ally, the uh, Kiso Minamoto. They're my neighbors. Are you gonna pay me? No, you're not. That's a shame. Okay, the Nita. And please pay me. No, oh, come on. The Nita. Uh, you can't trust these guys. I know that. They will attack you. That's why I need to make some fortresses in here. Like strongholds. Something like that. They won't attack Kai. As far as I know. Just Musashi. But I'll prepare for that. I mean, same as the Hojo in the original game. You start with a blacksmith and a gold mine. And I think it's always better to go for the armorer. Because, l like I said before, there are way more archers in this campaign. So having high armor is essential. That's why it's not giving you the same amount of armor as melee attack. So if you're going for the weaponsmith, it's giving you some armor. But much more uh, melee attack. But anyway, uh, I guess that is that. Yeah. Now we're gonna have mounting unrest in Kai, but that's just gonna be for one turn. Great stuff. Oh no. No mountain unrest. Hmm. That's okay. So what did we get? Overseeing armies and minus 10% chance of being assassinated. Like, being assassinated is something in this campaign. There's su such few ninjas, and here I think they're called Monomi. Yeah, Monomi it was. And it's so difficult to recruit them that this is rather pointless. 
So just go for overseeing armies even though it's not it's not that great. But here, always go for the right path. Because that's going to give you some, uh, cunning when spreading influence and requesting allegiance. And down here is like yeah, bribing, paying off and also overseeing towns. That's what, we, what you want to use these guys for. Overseeing towns and spreading influence. Not just making money. So just go in here. Make this town happy. Nice. Now we can get some more butter exchange. And once they are done, we can recruit some more Junsatsushi. What did I want in here? Ah oh, yeah, the bushy school. Oops. Misclick. Because I want to get the foot samurai pretty soon. They are a very solid unit. Are those some more bow attendants? Hmm. Maybe later? Although, nah, these guys are kind of dangerous. They will attack me. Yeah, let's just get some bow attendants. Yeah, yeah. So, one of my sons, uh, Minamoto no Yoshitsune, he should get... He should become out, uh, become of age soon. So he can become a general. <laughs> Here, these guys. They're the important ones. Minamoto, Minamoto no Yoritomo and Minamoto no Yoshitsune. Like, in real history, he was he was kind of the man behind the tables, you could say, the planning guy. And he was the general, the warrior. And at the end, uh, Yoritomo mistrusted Yoshitsune and hunted him down. There's even a Kurosawa movie about that, like right after Second World War. I mean, it was made right after Second World War and it's about like, uh, it's about one of these, uh, uh, one of these instances where they try to capture uh, Yoshitsune. So... Now we've got a border exchange, but we can still not recruit more Junsatsu Junsatsushi. And that's what I mean, the food stores. It provides one food. That is amazing. In my opinion, you should almost never go for the market. It's just not worth it. Go for more food. Gives, yeah, I mean, <laughs> food is obvious, but it also gives more town growth. Everywhere. And that's always good to have. Uh, I guess more food. And here, we can choose between military ports and harbors. Harbors are kind of like the trading ports in this game. And uh, that's kind of what I want to do. It, it just straight up gives you money, gives you town growth, all of that interesting stuff. And that is that for the turn. Uh, next turn I'm gonna try if the... If my neighbor to the east... I forgot the name of these guys. If they are gonna trade now. Because I want to have better relationships. Yeah, the Yuki. Hostile. Hmm. No, that's probably not gonna change. Clan is not respected? Who? They... Speak they are me. Speak. Wait, do I have an unfriendly general or something? No, I'm even... He's even like... He's even got a polite wife. He's not impolite or something. Hmm. Then maybe he's impolite. Tch. Now, get me another Junsatsushi. There we go. With the Minamoto, you always want to put one of them into Izu. Into, uh, what's the province? No, the province is Izu. The town is, uh, what's that? Mishima. Okay. Hmm. Well, whatever. More food. Always get food in this campaign. And I think I can recruit another Naginata Levy. Well, that is that. 
Next turn, I think I can recruit another Junsatsushi. And the other kind of kind of agent you can recruit here is the Sirab Yoshi, but we'll get to those. Okay, what to do with you? Should I put you to... I should have recruited him over here. I'm a dumbass. Well, whatever. Although I kind of want to spread influence to the west. So let's do that. Now yeah, then it doesn't really matter. If he's in here, then he's already reaching the other province and he's spreading the Minamoto influence. Great stuff. Uh, okay, but now I'm definitely going to recruit one more in here. And he's going to oversee Izu to give me some money. Although Musashi would have been better, but in the long term, uh, it's better to oversee Izu. Later when we get the, uh, when we get some better gold, gold mining. Okay, Naginata over there. And another thing here, the, uh, the second building. You can upgrade that to a master field or a town watch. The town watch is just like, it's gonna give you a higher garrison. This one makes it easier to recruit units and to replenish. So, in your recruitment provinces, use the master field. In all the others, use town watch. As easy as that. I could make a military port, but I think it's kind of unnecessary. I just want the harbor. Just want money for now. Right now, I just want to boom a, a little. I could make some more Naginata levy. But if I do that, I won't have enough money for... Uh, for food stores. So better not do that. Three more turns and I've got fire arrows. Alrighty. Yeah, like I said, I think one of my neighbors is gonna attack me very soon. They usually do. They're all assholes over here. But I don't want to expand east, like I said. This is just way too big. This uh, this area here is called the Kanto Fields. And the Kanto Fields are just... They're just uh, way too big to uh, to move around. And you'll get out... Move, out move, uh, you'll get outmaneuvered. And your province... They will take your provinces and... Uh, it's just painful expanding over here. Unless you've got a lot of armies. If you if you just got one or two, then expand west. Alright, get closer. How's influence doing? Hmm. Okay, it's always like once once it's above 50% you can request the allegiance, but then it always depends on the abilities of uh of your agent. And how much uh how much garrison they have so oversee this town it's gonna give me at least some money yeah less than a hundred but at least something come on yostine can you grow up please you're 17 years old that's old enough to lead armies and kill people uh. Another son is born. But there's <laughs> the brother. Oh, come on, Yostine. Grow up. Uh, that's not enough money for anything. Hmm? Oh, I didn't make, a f make more food stores. Uh, I made it over here. Nah, that, that was not a good idea. Uh, anyway. Give me the bushy school. Because later I want to have some foot samurai. But for now also some Naginata levy. The Naginata levy is a bit is a bit like as the Minamoto I'd say. Get a few of them. Enough to kill enemy generals. And that's enough. Because cavalry in the early game is very rare. It's usually just the general. There's nothing like light cavalry so 
you don't have you don't have to worry about anything like that. Cavalry is a quite like mid and late game unit. But for killing the general and for providing you like a front line, they're okay. Naginata attendants. Yeah, they're they're okay too. They even got the rapid advance ability. They're the only unit who has that. And guys, come over here. I mean, yeah, they will lose against sword units in uh, in melee. But overall, they're a very solid unit. You can use them to charge cavalry or to charge their general. Yeah, why not? And I still don't have enough money for more food. Ah, oh, well. Let's get some stronghold in here. Because that's what we need. Oh, I forgot to change that. Mm, we could go for forms of the earth. Because of the encampment. I mean, we'll need that, we'll need that sooner or later. But I think for now it's... It's okay. Let's get some... Some boon cards. I really wonder why they have this character for Chinese learning. Like, it just means, uh, water. Like, why is that here? <laughs> it's Chinese learning? Okay, then character for water. But, yeah. Oh well, doesn't matter. I think that is that. Oh no. Come on, Yuki. Ah, now they want to trade with me. Had the courage to come before me, but speak now that you're here. <laughs> Stop barking at me! Oh wow! You want to give me some money? Uh, just one hundred fifty. Well, that's enough. In this game, there's nothing like war horses, so <laughs> there's no resources that everyone wants. Wait, they're at war with the... who's that? Satake. Okay. They expanded south? Yeah, maybe. That's a... that's probably another plan. Like, you could also take uh, Shimosa and, uh, and Kazusa. That's another plan and then try to fortify these two provinces kind of as a shield. Because here we've got iron. We need that later. But we can also get that through trade. 32. Still, of course, it's not enough. Uh, nope. There's nothing else to do. Let's continue. No one's moving anything, but you can al already see the Nita. They're messing up their army already. Uh, I need something to counter them. But I also need money. Just give me some bow attendants and sword attendants. Yeah, that's good. I think I'm kind of safe from them. Usually they don't attack me. Who are they anyway? Uh, the Kajiwara. Yeah. They're defensive, friendly. Yeah, I mean, the, there's, that's their attitude. I mean, defensive, but questionable. Still, usually they don't attack you. And also their enemies with the... Uh, <laughs> with my allies, with the Kiso Minamoto already. Nah. I don't think I have to fear an attack from them. Well then... That seems to be that. I can imagine these guys are gonna attack me soon. The Nita. Do you have other provinces? No, that's your own. Pr uh, that's uh, that's your only province. So that means their whole army is gonna be levy, nothing else. So they don't stand a chance against attendants, like bow attendants and sword naginata attendants. That's gonna be okay. Next turn I can get some more food. 
More food stores. What are these guys doing there? The cut. <laughs> I was talking about that and that. Oh, come on. I trusted you. Assholes. Ah. I need to get my agent over here now. How's it next turn? Next turn is going to be 44.8. Uh, okay, and if you come over here, how's it gonna look? That's not enough. Can I buy this army? No, they've got their daimyo in here. Uh, are the Yuki still at war? Yes, they are. Okay, that means I can... Pull all my army back over here. Nah. No, 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 no. Can you imagine they're gonna go for Izu first? But once they moved a little, I can request allegiance. I mean, in two turns, about that. Huh? They're unhappy. Uh, no, they're such a rich province. Mm hmm. Seems like, seems like I've got to recruit some Naginata Levy. And next turn I can recruit Samurai. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. So we've got food almost everywhere. I just hope they're not gonna attack Kai. Still, let's get some food stores. And, and another thing, like... Roads in this game is so expensive, but they are gonna give you town growth from the beginning At least something Okay, we've got Chinese learning Now we can go for Trade income Because I want to get food And another thing here the Junsatsushi actions 10% uh, increased chance. That's pretty good. The other stuff is like, here later, uh, the Buddhist temple, of course, that's essential for getting uh, warrior monks. But with the Minamoto, mm, I think like Naginata warrior monks are okay, but bow warrior monks are kind of pointless. Because you want to go for a, a foot samurai anyway. Mm, and I also think I gotta recruit some more army. Do I? Nah, I don't. Next turn. But please, Nita, don't attack me. I'm busy over here. And I don't have enough army. Okay, there the Katiwara come. <laughs> yeah, call him my ally. They, they are already at war with them. Oh, good. So Jun Satsushi uh, increase in rank. Okay, blah blah blah. Alrighty. Civil or martial wisdom? I mean martial wisdom or civil insight. Oh, let's go for civil. I mean I'm studying boom cards right now. So 47%. Hmm. I don't think they can reach any province in one turn. And next turn, my influence is going to be 53. That means I can request the allegiance. Can you get, like... Ah, they're both... Both of them are so pointless. But 7% uh, campaign movement, okay. Why not? And in here... Here, the clan estate... That's another very useful building. I mean, <laughs> tax, uh, tax rate, that's kind of self-explanatory. And it also gives you access to the Shirab Yoshi, which are kind of like the... A bit like Geisha in, uh, in Fall of the Samurai. Very similar to that. Also, we need more Naginata Levy in here. Uh, we 
don't have to exempt them from taxes. Just get some bow attendants in here. And next turn they're gonna be fine. And you guys come over here. I kind of wish they uh, they go to Kai right now. Because they're never gonna reach it. Uh, where can they move? Okay, they can't even move out of their... It seems like they can't even move out of their province. Nah. That's not too great. I've got to take out their army. Uh, I don't like that. But anyway, now we can recruit Samurai. Foot Samurai. To, <laughs> to be specific. They also, have got, they also got the Whistling Arrow. Which uh, re reduces morale. That's pretty good in this campaign. Because like I said before, the Naginata Levy. They have such low morale. Do you want to get more sword attendants? Hmm... I kind of do. More sword. Oh! That sword cost 5,000 Doru! I'm sorry. Huh? Where did they go? Ah! Uh, what's going on here? Okay. But it doesn't seem like anyone's gonna attack me. How far can they reach? That's the question. I, I cannot attack them either. But I can re Oh no, it's too expensive. I've got to cancel something. And how about these sword attendants? Okay. Now come on, 95% chance. There we go. I'm not sure how that works actually. I think they're still in here, aren't they? They must be. Okay, get into the town. And no, I don't need a bushy training ground. Hey, they got roads. Hmm, that's fine. Now I've got a new neighbor. The E. Do you want to trade? Please speak on Even though you're at war I'll with my sister family? Uh, come on. 150? There we go. Give me that. And now the Satake. Ah, they're the guys at war with the Yuki. Now then I... Oh, come on! Listen as polite. Why not? You need all the support you can get. You're also at war with the Ashikaga. They're the clan over here. Hmm. Now what? Yeah, this province is fine. <laughs> Difficult choice right now. How many turns are left? Three. Three turns. Uh, and then let's get to iron manufacturing. Tax quota is fine too, but now. Nah. Better go for some more food. Always more food. They also got the town wards in here. Yeah, they kind of needed that for the suppression. But I guess that's all. Now, ah, come on, just give me some more Naginata. And Nita, please don't attack me. No. Uh. Oh, phew. That's good. And another rank up. What do you get? Well, pointless. Pointless. Oh, crap. Just give me overseeing towns or something. Uh -huh. 
You can go into... No, 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 no. You should get into Musashi. Kai is fine already. Okay, well, seems like their army is actually gone. I forgot how that works. Oh, well. Okay, now more samurai. And you get into Edo. Mm -hmm. And from now on, I should save some money. A daughter is born. Okay. Now come on, Yoshitsune, you're already 19 years old. It's time to kill people. Now, Satake. Do you trade with no? Mm. Why not? Because I don't have anything? Elitist pricks. Wow, they've got a giant army. The Nita. And is, is it still? Yeah, it's still just Levy. Because they don't have any other province. Now come on now, Satake. No, why not? Now get to Musashi. And give me some income. We more than 100. You better go to Musashi as well. And in here, what do we need in here? I mean the border exchange. Because I need another Junsatsushi to spread influence over here. I need five of these guys as soon as possible. So here, should I go for the armor now? Uh, for some more food. Hmm. I mean, both is viable right now. Now give me food. Now that I've got 2,000. Next turn, gonna get some more samurai. Great stuff. Uh, how is their army looking like, actually? Okay, they have bow attendants. That means they, they've got a bushy training school over here. What, what what are they called? Bushy school? And what's the other one? Bushy tra tra training grounds. Bushy training grounds. There we go. Ugh. And I need another general. Yoshitsune, you're one of the greatest samurai warriors in history. Why can't you grow up? <laughs> oh, that's good too. Oh well, now they're down and I've got a new neighbor. Then who are you? So here, always go for overseeing towns. Of course, gives you more money. Although this town is a bit weak. Hmm. Yeah, they were unhappy before, so... Nah. But they're okay now. Clan destroyed the E. And I've encountered these guys now. The Shiba. They're allied to my sister family. Okay. Interesting. I just hope they don't declare war on me. Because it's going to be easy to uh, request allegiance from them. Because they're a Minamoto clan. So are you going to trade? You are. 150? No. Come, let us talk. Oh, you're so friendly. You're so nice. Okay, 100. That's good. And I've encountered another one. The Kitabake. I just hope they end up uh, at war with the uh, with my neighbor right now. Although the Taira, of course, the red ones over here, they're getting strong too. I mean, they will end up at war with the Kiso Minamoto. It kind of depends on how the war between them is gonna go. 
How about we'll see? Ah, uh, no, why not? And you? Still no. I will listen as politeness dictates. Se Again, elitist pricks. Just because I don't have anything to sell. Huh. Well then, now I want to get the armorer. What are these Satake doing over here? They don't stand any chance against that. Idiots. I don't want to recruit more armies right now. Next turn. I, I mean, I just need foot samurai and sword attendants now. I've got enough Naginata. Just one more turn. Alright. I also wonder how the uh, Fujiwara in the northeast are doing. Because they get... They can get pretty strong as well. Alrighty. Now, what to study? We could go for Samurai Way. Or Forms of the Earth. Mm. I mean, all of them are good right now. But I think Forms of the Earth is better now. Because I want the encampment, and of course it's gonna go- I'm gonna go for armor. So once it's just three more turns, I'm gonna make a stronghold here. And now we can- we can even get some- we can even get more food than before. Well... Just give me the food stores in here. Although, uh, no, 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 wait a bit. I can't recruit another Jinsatsushi. Yeah, let's do that. That's much more important. I will need a stronghold in here. Just for the, uh, what's it called again? The clan estate. <laughs> what to get now? How about some more foot samurai? I mean, whatever you want to do with them. If you want to go for accuracy or for more melee capability, like higher melee attack, higher armor, you can never go wrong. They are just the more the most versatile unit in this campaign. That doesn't make them unbeatable. They can definitely get beaten by, let's say, lots of archers with fire arrows. Because they're a pretty small unit. So if you're facing, let's say, a lot of attendants or a lot of, um, ah, oh, finally, or a lot of, um, bow warrior monks, like, even levies with good accuracy and fire arrows, then they will go down. That's their main weakness, I'd say. And of course, they can get charged by cavalry as well. I wonder what these guys are up to. Are you at war with anyone? Yes, they are. But they don't even reach them. I mean, they could. But it <laughs> doesn't seem they are doing that. Okay, but now that I've got a new general, you can get the... you can become the commissioner for finance. I think finance? Should I, hmm, finance or development? Eh, finance. There we go. And for the whole time, I forgot to recruit a Sirap Yoshi. They're a pretty good unit as well, because they can seduce enemy generals, and yeah, enemy generals are just another uh, bow cavalry. So, <laughs> just give me them. You spread influence to the neighbor provinces, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
We also do need some more strongholds. So how about getting one over here? Because I need more clan estates and by uh, through that more CRWC. Same for them. You can use them outside of your towns, like to seduce army, the, to seduce generals, to distract armies. But also just in your in your own towns to boost some town growth. Like same with the uh, same with the Junsatsushi. Hmm. I'm not sure where to put you. I think you should go to the west. For later. Okay. Next turn. No. What's going on here? Oh no, the tired are attacking. Uh, of course I have to enter the the war. Uh, yeah, I, I can't afford to to lose my my alliance, and I'll end up at war with the Tyra anyway. So let's start it now. Uh, well, that's a shame. Where are they going? Are they trying to conquer South? South would. Whatever, go entertain some nobles. That's boosting town growth. And these guys are gonna go west. Once that is at like 50%, I think I can request allegiance over here. Hmm. Well, now. Like always, get some food. I mean, I'm al already at five and six predicted. <laughs> I mean, if you look at that, like just the global food supply, that's basically giving me all the uh, the town growth I need. And I'm out of money again. Ugh. And the only thing I can do next turn is uh, start building a stronghold in here. Anyone wants some trade? Ah, now. Yeah, of course, because they just lost their army. I will give a proper response. You're gonna give me your money. Not just a response. Oh, come on. Just 50. Nah. You need all the trade you can get. You just lost your army. There is always a welcome for Same for them, okay. Audience for your ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same, same. Just 50. No. What a shame. But at least something. So now I'm at war with the Taira. They're somewhere over here. They're even controlling Kyoto. Um... Yep, that is that. But still, I need my army. Oh, there they are. I need my army in the east. I, I just need to be protected from enemy at uh, from possible enemy attacks. Uh, I need a general, but I also need the money. But still, just just give me the general. Because why not? It is always useful. Yeah, well, now I don't have enough money. F uh, I don't have enough money for the stronghold in here. Oh, well, then next turn. That's okay. Mm. I don't want to recruit Samurai right now. Just give me some Naginata Levy. Maybe two. Because the, uh, there's army in the west, they, they're they gonna need some Naginata. Um, okay, the Nita are actually going south. Interesting. I wonder if they can beat this army. 
Because these guys have a little more than just levy. They're just a bunch of levy. <laughs> I'm just going to be the laughing third one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing happening. And I still didn't encounter the... Uh, the Tyra. Oh, there they are. <laughs> and they level up. That's that's fine. Level 3. And other than in the uh, vanilla base game, there's no, like, useless level. Like, first you get spreading influence, then overseeing towns, then bribing. After that is gonna be, uh... Another, like, bribing... And what was the other one? Yeah, basically like more bribing. And at max level, it's like more spreading influence. So, yeah. It's always good to have a level up with them. Because in the base game with Metsuke, level 3 is like, nah, that's the weaker level up, you could say. Because it doesn't give you anything useful. Hmm. I mean, the another thing is like here, payoff. That's not buying their general, that's basically paying their general, so he, uh, I mean, not generals, I mean, uh, agents. That's basically paying their agents, so they stop. <laughs> Nothing more. Let's get some clan estate over here. And a stronghold. Now we can already recruit here the samurai with eight armor. That's good. And in two turns, yeah, we get the encampment. Although it's gonna be three. Ah, yeah, the Tyra. They're always a pretty strong clan. Yeah, strong and moderate. I'm just moderate and moderate. Uh. But, well, look at that. <laughs> wow. Look at the map. Almost everyone hates them. I don't think they're gonna last for too long. I mean, they can't fight everyone. Can they? Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, the Satake are besieging the Nita. And <coughs> they stop. <laughs> well, that was fast. Emperor Antoku! Oh no, how dare the Tyra! Ah, well, doesn't matter for me. It only matters if you, uh, if you're playing one of the Tyra clans. Now, give me food. Although, eh, not in here. Better in here. Ah, it's so tempting expanding to the east. Mm. Should I attempt that? The problem is always if you capture this province, then you're basically bothering everyone over here. And they will declare war on you, because soon they're gonna be the uh, Fujiwara coming south. I mean, it's always tempting to uh, to get this province, because of their, uh, their artisans. Uh, but like I said before, in my opinion, expanding west is a bit safer. Well, just give me some Naginata levy. And you know what? I'm just gonna end the episode here. We didn't have that many battles, just... Well, uh, one. <laughs> but there are gonna be some pretty big battles to come soon. Because I cannot imagine that they're not gonna attack me. 
they will do so uh, they will do so very soon and also up here in the northwest i'm gonna get involved because i mean i have to declare war on them very soon because i want to spread my influence and then yeah in about two turns i think so once i've got a good army in here i'm gonna de declare war on them take these provinces and once i'm about here in Uwari, then it's it's gonna get it's gonna be with way more action than before i just hope the uh, my sister family are not gonna declare war on me. Just one more thing. Yeah, the Taira are losing provinces. I mean, they have so many enemies, of course they do. But they're at war with the Fujiwara already. Interesting. But, now that's something for the next episode. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. L like I said, in my opinion, this campaign is highly underrated. And... It's not just the campaign map, it's also the uh, the battles, even though it has just very few units compared to the other campaigns, still, the the battles, are, they, they just have a different kind of feeling, like a, a different kind of speed, archers are more important, and melee combat is a, ver is a very different thing, like mounted archers are way more common, it's, I, I just love it. Anyway. I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.